Hey everyone! So I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of Goyle's new bin. This is actually the same bin that Arwen was in uh, when she was healing up her legs in my last video. So it has been completely sanitized and refurbished for Goyle. I don't know the exact dimensions off the top of my head. I do know that it is just over 470 square inches, so it is still big enough. Um, their cage size minimum is 360 square inches. Um, it is a fair bit smaller than his previous bin, which was a 110 quart bin. Um, I did this because he is an elderly little guy. He also has a fairly large tumor on his chest, which makes maneuvering a little bit more difficult for him. So I'll give you a brief tour. We got him a couple new things. Um, so we'll start over here. We got this little house from PetSmart. And under it there is some um, small pet select natural bedding. And then there are two carrot shoes on either side of the house and an oxbow hay mat in the back. Uh, we have a medium size flying saucer wheel in green. He's pretty much always had that. Here we have a DIY dig box, and I was slightly inspired by Aaron's Animals, who posted a dig box the other day. Um, mine is uh, a little less well put together, I suppose you would say. Uh, mine is actually, the walls are made out of cardboard because that's what I had and I painted them with pet safe paints that I had. And then the rim here and at the door down there, uh, it's made out of popsicle sticks. And if you're seeing this sort of like glittery, shiny thing, um, it's something I'm testing out uh, for hopefully a DIY that I'll show you guys in the future. Uh, but I tested out using uh, edible luster dust that you would use for like cakes and things. Uh, I tested mixing that with Mod Podge, which is a completely safe thing for hamsters. Um, it's often used to seal items to make them waterproof for small animals. Um, so I tested out mixing those to see if I could get like a pet safe sort of glittery finish here and it wound up working it was a lot of effort though um more than uh more than i would normally like to put into their items um but it did come out really pretty bedding here is uh the new kt clean and cozy camo edition and i thought it looked kind of cool because it kind of looks like moss um and it was originally just in here but now it's uh scattered everywhere. Uh, the white that you're seeing is uh, just the regular KT clean and cozy. In the back there is a critter bath full of sanitized children's play sand and next to it is his water bottle that is from Walmart, the mounted ones from Walmart. Um, in the back we have a, a living world ergonomic food dish. There's a carrot chew right next to it. Here we have a wear grass hut that he has had for a long time actually, and thankfully has never chewed. Uh, I bought that on Amazon. And then in the back corner here, we have a little green pail that I believe is from the Target dollar section, but these can be found at craft stores and all kinds of places. Um, and it has some paper straws that he loves to chew and one of those PetSmart party chews in it, which he hasn't really messed with, but uh, it was still fully intact, so I gave it to him. And then there's Goyle, trying to figure out what in the world I'm doing. He now officially sleeps a good 22 to 23 hours a day. He doesn't spend a whole lot of time up unless I'm in his cage, and then he's sort of like, what are you doing here? He does have a very large growth on his chest um, that unfortunately we cannot get treated because of his age. He is three or almost three. We're not really, uh, he's three or over or <laughs> somewhere around three years old. And oh, see, you can see it a little bit there when he stands up. 
it has just now gotten to the point where it is limiting his mobility a little bit and making him waddle a little more than I am comfortable with. Uh, so I did take out all of his platforms and climbing things and just provided extra hides. Um, I wanted to make sure that he didn't have too much that he could hurt himself on. He can still climb on this and this, so he'll get some climbing ability in there, but I wanted to make sure that uh, he wasn't going to end up hurting himself. Sorry, it, I just realized he couldn't get through there with that carrot there. Um, so yeah, there's the bin. He's been in, in it a few days. Um, and I'm sure you guys are wondering uh, if he's in here, where is Arwen? Arwen is actually back in her bin. Whoop, that was the lid. Uh, Arwen is actually back in her bin here. Uh, she's sleeping in her coconut over here. Anyway, I just wanted to film this quick video for you guys while he was awake so that you guys could see him and the new cage. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time, hopefully.